Today, I'll show you how to do your Hex Crypto Taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about Hex and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about Hex, then I'll jump into the integration, which for this entire week has been extremely straightforward. A lot of just plug and play public addresses. And then um, I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of resources and you can obviously leave comments down below. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So Hex is the first high yield blockchain with a certificate of deposit, which was founded in 2018. Their staking currently average about 40% API, which is pretty good. And they have rewards which can be earned daily. Um, so this video, I'm going to be using MetaMask to get the public address. Just keep in mind that you can also do this exact same procedure if you have Coinbase Wallet or Wallet Connect or any other type of wallet. So jumping into the integration, which is going to be really straightforward, log into your Coinlink account. If you don't have one, no problem. You can create one completely free. Head over into the wallet section, click on add wallet. We're going to type in MetaMask um, and then we're going to click on the first one. We're interested in, in Ethereum. Um, we're going to click on set up auto sync. So this will only import transactions from the Ethereum network, which is what we're interested in because that's what Hex uses. Obviously, we're not interested in BCS or Polygon. And now we're going to find the public address from MetaMask. So opening up your MetaMask here in the top right corner, you can see that the Ethereum mainnet is selected. So make sure um, it is. And then here we have our Hex public address. So copy and paste that into Coinlink and click secure import. And there you have it. So once your transactions are imported, go into the transactions area and you can see kind of what's going on under the hood. Coinly has already done the most difficult part, which is, you know, calculated your capital gains from all your wallets and exchanges that you've put in. Um, if you have any staking and you'd like to make sure it's tagged, so, you know, do that right now, um, you would just basically click on these three arrows and you would tag it as sent to pool or sent from pool. So once you're happy with everything there, head over into the tax reports area. Here you will get a fantastic summary of your crypto activity throughout the year, your transactions, deposits, withdrawals, capital gains, income, and anything else that you might be interested in. And use this area throughout the year to kind of see where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And once you're happy with everything you see there, scroll on down and select uh, the tax report appropriate for your needs. We have plenty of different tax reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. I've made videos for that. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print out and give directly to an accountant, and they can combine it with your other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is make sure to check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of a very simple uh, week of wallet integration videos. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm going to give you a bunch of different resources um, if you'd like to learn more. So starting off with the Coinly Help Center, uh, we have countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section. If you're having any issues with our software, please let us know. We have a forum section where we talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. So if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.